Tiffany and this is my channel Who's Your Handmade. Thank you so much for stopping by today. In today's video it's another edition of Hashtag Friday Sews. If that sounds interesting to you stick around. As always thank you so much to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting Hashtag Friday Sews and allowing all of us sewists to spend our Fridays talking about what we've been sewing, what we hope to sew, and a little bit about life in between. Thank you so much to Jen for her generosity and sharing that hashtag with us all. I just, I just need to say <laughs> thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. You guys, it has been a wild two weeks here, um, channel wise, sewing wise, and there are so many new subscribers to my channel. Welcome. Thank you so much for taking an interest in my channel and subscribing. It really means so very much to me. If you are brand new to my channel, please consider Consider subscribing. It would mean so much to welcome you into this community. If you have not introduced yourself uh, thus far on my channel, please do leave a comment down below. I would love to have you introduce yourself and get to know you a little bit, maybe learn a little bit about your sewing journey, uh, whether you've sewn for years or you're brand new or you're just tiptoeing towards sewing. I would love to get to know you. Please do introduce yourself down below in the comments. I would really, really love uh, to get to know you. If you want to find me on Instagram, we can connect further. I can follow you back and follow your sewing journey. My Instagram name is Hoosier.handmade. Made. So please do come over to Instagram and find me on there. I would love to follow you back. And thank you so much to all of my friends who video after video, week after week, y'all just stick with me and show up every single video with support and kindness and friendship. It is, means so much to me that you guys are watching today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you and welcome. So my channel is all about sewing. For the most part, I have a love of sewing that borderlines on obsession. <laughs> I love all things sewing and it's, it means so very much to me. And uh, well, we have a little bit of other things sprinkled in. Sometimes there's some crochet, sometimes there's some cross stitch. When I uh, get a little itch to do those kind of things, but mostly it is sewing and I upload every Tuesday and Friday here to YouTube just to give you a little bit of a layout of what my channel is about. Fridays will likely always be Friday Sews. I love hashtag Friday Sews videos. I love making them. I love sitting here and chatting with you guys about what I've been sewing um, and chatting back and forth in the comments about what y'all have been sewing. I love doing that and I love watching Friday Sews videos. So please do, after you get done with this video, <laughs> go search hashtag Friday Sews in your YouTube search bar and you will see so many amazing, talented sewists that are so much fun to watch. So that's Friday's videos. And then Tuesday, I usually upload kind of a themed video. Um, they've been, here recently, they've been uh, sewing plans videos, like Tuesday's videos. So go give that one a look if you have not done so already that stack of fabric right there <laughs> is from Tuesday's video it's just waiting to be cut into I do monthly makes videos and then sometimes I'll be focusing on techniques I've got a couple videos coming up about sewing with knits which is near and dear to my heart I love sewing with knit fabric so I have a couple videos coming up um, just about some tips and tricks about sewing with knit fabric so yeah if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so we are so close to 900. Oh, when we get to a thousand, we've, we're gonna have to do like a giveaway and maybe a question and answer, just a fun little celebration. It's just been so much fun building this community of friends here on YouTube. Okay, enough about all that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I think you can probably get the theme that my channel is all about friendship and community and camaraderie and building relationships um, and, and sewing, obviously, my love of sewing. So let's talk about what I have been sewing this week. Like I said, it has been a crazy, 
couple weeks here for my sewing room, especially this last week. It's like if we have a holiday weekend, my sewing time just gets like drug out. So I have done so much in this little sewing room here this weekend and week. I have made what's hanging behind me. I have finished this. I have made another whole project and then I've started another one. My goodness. <laughs> And then I had some happy mail and I can't wait to share all that with you. So let's just, let's just dive what right in. What am I wearing? <laughs> so I have labeled this Friday Sews something about making lemonade out of lemons. So let me just show you the lemon. <laughs> You'll probably know what I'm going to tell. I'm going to say this is Simplicity 9385. I made you be there. Um, yeah. So last Friday I, I was... I was upset. <laughs> just Let's just be completely honest. You will find here on my channel, and, and I'm sure you know this if you've been watching any of my videos, I'm real with you guys. This is real sewing, real reactions, real reviews. Um, so yeah, I had a really hard time with that pattern, but I ended up with a wearable shirt that I really do love. Um, this is View B. So I have taken the lemon, added a little sugar, a lot of sugar, <laughs> and I've made uh, the lemonade shirt here. So I've actually been wearing this shirt nonstop. It's super comfortable. I have made it, made adjustments to it that are perfect for my body and that I do really feel comfortable with. Um, I've got my kind of bell kind of sleeves there into my cuff. I fixed the neck band. I have made it longer, which made it, which has made it the perfect length. And then I've added some tucks up here on the shoulder to bring my shoulder line in. So we did it. We did fine. <laughs> We took the lemon and made lemonade, um, but alas, this pattern, this pattern, actually, what did I write? <laughs> Can't hide that from you, can I, guys? Just not a great pattern. <laughs> so that pattern is going into the pile of probably never again, but I really am happy with this, how this shirt has turned out, this little sweater. So if I have some pictures, I'll pop them in. Like I said, I've been wearing it all weekend and week, super comfortable, and I am happy with what I've done. Here's what I'm going to chalk this whole experience up to. It's helping me gain some, I'm going to call it maturity, <laughs> maturity in my sewing, um, that I can take a pattern that is not drafted very well or at least drafted for someone of my body shape and I can take that and roll it up with what I have been learning about fitting and making adjustments for my body and listening to my body and knowing what I need for my shape right now I can roll all that together and I can make a garment that actually fits me and that I really love. That's what I'm gonna say that I got out of this whole process. I, I gained a little maturity. <laughs> Moving on to my next project that I took on this weekend. It is hanging behind me. Oh, just a second, let me grab, let me grab that pattern. So this is the pattern. This is a know me pattern, my first ever know me pattern. And this is know me, me, M-E 2002. You can see it right there. So I made View A, the one that Brittany J. Jones is wearing. She designed this pattern. Let, let me just let me just tell you, <clears throat> these are both what I would consider big four, big five. So you know, Simplicity McCall's. They're all owned by the big by one big company, I believe. But let me just tell you, no, <laughs> and yes. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe it has something to do with Brittany designing this pattern and coming up with this on her own. I don't know what it is, but this pattern is such a winner. I made it up in that green fabric back there. That is a rib knit from a Walmart bundle, I believe. So if you watch my sewing plans, I had the plan to make in me 2002 and um, I had some floral, beautiful fabric that I had planned for it, but that was my final fabric. I needed some fabric for a wearable muslin that I hoped it turned out to be. And that's what that one has been. So I made the size 28 in this packet. This packet has sizes 
uh, 20W to 28W. I made the 28, even though I was a little bit outside of the measurements, actually. I probably would have been more comfortable making the 30W. I think it goes to 30. Yeah, the next size up would have been a 30W. But actually, I'm so glad that I did it because this one fits me really, really well. I'm gonna get it off the hanger here in just a second but let me just tell you that the tutorial on YouTube done by Brittany J. Jones for this shirt is so wonderful. It is amazing. I followed her YouTube tutorial completely. I did not even look at the pattern instructions and I think there's some variance in what she tells you to do in the YouTube tutorial as opposed to what the instructions tell you to do. I think I get the impression that the instructions are more big four-ish and then her tutorial is more like Brittany giving you some tips and tricks like um, a really awesome tip that I got out of Brittany's video was to when you're inserting the sleeve in the uh, flat so flat inserting the sleeve not in the round to put the sleeve side down facing your feed dog so the sleeve will be on the feed dogs and your shirt side the rest of your, your shirt the bodice will be facing you on the top and that helps the feed dogs feed in that fabric and helps it not to stretch out and look really strange amazing an amazing tip go watch these tutorials they are so worth your time and looking up on youtube and uh, watching these amazing designers actually sew up their patterns because you never know what kind of tips and tricks you're gonna get while watching those videos so i have that tutorial linked down below super amazing so let's get my make and talk about it kind of hard to see it is kind of a long shirt so i made view a again view a features a fold over neckline. I have three quarter length sleeves. It comes with a belt. Um, this is a belt made out of fabric, the same fabric. And then the shirt, let me take the belt off actually. The shirt has a very unique hemline. Can you see it there? See the V? So it has a very different kind of bottom. Uh, I can show you the line drawings. Maybe that'll be easier to see there. So view A right there and you can see that the back is wider. Fun, easy, enjoyable, really fun. So I thought this fabric was going to give me super bad fits but it actually sewed up really really well. It behaved itself. Um, another milestone in my YouTube. I have made my first short. <laughs> I went ahead and filmed a little short, one minute long short of a few tips that I use when sewing really slinky knit and this is pretty slinky but it behaved itself so well with a couple of those tips so if you haven't seen my short go check that one out it was really fun to make and this this whole shirt was just super fun so this is definitely a wearable twall of mine now here is a little bit of an issue it has nothing to do with the design and all to do with me this features a split up the side do you see how deep that split is? So that comes up pretty high on me. I I don't I wouldn't say that I wear low rise skirts or anything like that, but they're definitely not high waisted. Like they're not all the way up to my waist. And this split is kind of made. Let me see if I can get it again. There it is. It's kind of made to hit your your actual waist and it does hit me on my actual waist but I never wear my skirts or any kind of bottom at my waist so the styling piece for this shirt has been a little difficult so it's 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 made me think a little bit about what I can do with this split I thought originally about just sewing it up um, just sewing down a little farther and then closing that up but then that makes the belly area too tight so uh, that's what i mean like borderline that 28w was almost too tight for me this fits perfectly and i wouldn't want to make it any tighter so i can't really sew up those sides so i'm considering um some lace inserts uh, agatha from in Agatha's Cottage was advising me on some things that I can do which I so appreciate the help so if you have any ideas about what to do with that split 
that doesn't require me to sew it up, let me know. I, I really, I really want to wear this shirt. I really like it. And I, I want to wear it like normal, like it was my final garment. So I do love this shirt. Now I do not love this belt on me. The belt is supposed to hit you kind of again in the waist region. See where the belt is right there. I just don't have, I don't have that much of a, of a waist. I'm actually pretty straight in my, uh, from, well, from really under my arms all the way down to my hips and my hips curve out a little bit more, but that doesn't give me a very defined waist. And this belt just looks a little weird. It looks a little out of place on a person without a waist. You would kind of think that it might help cinch in your waist, but it doesn't, it doesn't really do that for me. So I probably will not be using the belt, even though I made it and it's cute. It turned out fine. But anyway, that is my experience with Nomi 2002. Highly recommend this pattern. My goodness, I highly recommend it. Amazing. I highly recommend it with the tutorial by Brittany herself. Go check it out. <laughs> so am I going to make that version with that floral fabric that I featured in my sewing plans? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I, I need to figure out that split kind of thing, a solution for the split before I dedicate my gorgeous fabric, which is right there, I think, to making one of these shirts. Nothing to do, honestly, nothing to do with the shirt itself. It is such a cute design and I really do love it. It's just how can I make it work for my body and my lifestyle, really. And then the last thing that I made was a towel hair wrap. This is an Ellie and Mac pattern. It kind of looks a little odd. <laughs> it is to wrap around your hair. Um, when you've, after you've washed it, you wrap it around and then you'll secure it up here with a button, which I have not, I haven't put my button on yet. <laughs> so there's a little piece of elastic sewn in here, a little piece right there. It'll go around the button and you can uh, have your hair wrapped up. I'm a little nervous that I've made a little bit too big of a size. We'll just have to try it out. My hair is super thick though. So I made the largest size because I knew my hair was so thick, but we will see how that works out. So that's what I made, the Ellie and Mac hair wrap. I'll pop a picture up and of course link it down below. It was a really fun pattern. It is, I sewed it first and then serged the edges. So the edges look really nice. Yep, and then it has a little hem, and I just, again, surged the edges and then used my sewing machine to sew it. Fun, fun palette cleansing, which I didn't really need a palette cleanser because I just got done with that, that pattern right there and I was super happy with how it turned out, but this was super fun. So I highly recommend doing one of these projects. Speaking of my serger, you can kind of spy right there that I was able to play with her a little bit. I cleaned her out, I changed her needles, and then I put some of my new, is it Maxi Lock? Yes, it's Maxi Lock brand, the swirl uh, cones of serger thread that my hubby kindly got me from Waywack, Wawack. <laughs> he ordered some for me for Christmas. So I have those two on there and then I kept white in the needles and um, it's just been, it's been fun. I feel very proud of myself. One of my make nine uh, goals for 2023 was to get playing with that serger, get comfortable with changing the thread in the process, and ch start changing my colors more to match my uh, project. So I was very proud of myself. <laughs> I do have a project in the works right now. I'm not going to show it to you. Hopefully it will be featured in Tuesday's video. I've got a new kind of fun a uh, little video that I've never made before. So we will just have to wait and see what Tuesday's video is about. And that's what's been on my sewing table this week. A lot, a lot has been going on. A lot of time in the sewing room. Amazing time in the sewing room. Here before I go, I do want to give a shout out to my very kind friend, Kathy. My goodness, Kathy has already sent me a box of fabric and I even made a dress for Addie June out of that fabric already. Wonderful quality fabric that I am so blessed to have. And she surprised me this week with not one, 
not two, but three boxes from her stash, gorgeous fabrics, to include like waterproof fabric, canvas, swimsuit fabric, darling knits for Addie. So blessed, so entirely blessed. Thank you so much, Kathy, for your generosity and your kindness to me. It's really helped me, you guys, during this um buying band that I've had. So it's been so fun. It's like it's like Christmas. It's like opening a present and you just got all these amazing things in there. She gave me a couple books actually that were so cute. This first one, sewing, uh, cute clothes for kids. Super fun book. Look how thick it is. It has so many projects. Comes with the patterns. There's the patterns right there. And then this book was so cool. She gave to me this right here. I have never seen anything like it. You can make an entire wardrobe for your child just from this one book. It is a quick sew book. Quick Sew's Sewing for Baby. Kirsten Martinson, who I think designed the old quick sew patterns anyway. Just so many. Do you see that? Like just so many patterns. And they have the master copies, the master pattern pieces right there. And you can make all of these all of these clothes. That is so amazing. I have never seen anything like it. So cool. Thank you so much, Kathy, for your generosity. I just, I, I, I can't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. And it just means so very much to me. Addie and I have had so much fun going through those boxes. One more thing I want to show you before I say goodbye. <laughs> no, I'm getting kind of long. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I put in an order for this book. Last week in my last Friday shows, I talked about my Stanton hoodie and that it was kind of choking me. It was writing up a lot and kind of choking me. So many of you gave me so many good uh, suggestions like a forward shoulder adjustment or a high round back uh, adjustment, I believe. So many wonderful suggestions. And one of you suggested getting this book right here. So this is the Palmer and Plesh Complete Guide to Fitting. So great clothes for everybody. And I immediately went to Amazon and I bought this book. And it was on sale. It's like 36% off right now. I'm going to link it down below in the description box. It's only $22 right now on Amazon. And just all oh, the fitting advice. I have only made it to, I've only made it to about here. <laughs> I'm just pouring over this book, all the information, a history on how the patterns are designed, who they were drafted for originally, and then comparing all the pattern companies. Now this, this book really pushes tissue fitting, which I've seen a lot of on uh, like Joy Bernhardt's channel. She does a lot of tissue fitting and I've seen her feature it. But this really goes into detail. It is an amazing read. Like I said, I'm going to link it down below. Thank you so much, you guys, for suggesting this book. It has been an amazing read and I'm not even that far into it. I'm, I'm really going to enjoy really deep diving into this book and checking out all the fitting advice. So that's going to do it for me. I've so enjoyed spending time with you today. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please do give this video a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, those thumbs up really do help and leave a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. Introduce yourself. I would love to actually meet and welcome you into this community and let me know what you're working on this weekend. Are you sewing? Do you hope to sew? I would love to chat with you down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.